Hey, welcome back everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about the cool stuff, finally. <laughs> After wasting your life for like 20 videos, we're finally moving on to algorithms, how to make models, and all that awesome stuff. So to begin, we're going to just have a brief overview of what an algorithm is and a machine learning algorithm and kind of a review of the model and how that relates to the algorithm and the differences and all of that. So I'm going to use an example, so I hope it doesn't get redundant, but over the next section of videos, we're going to be going through a particular algorithm that I'm going to use as an example to learn how these kinds of things work. Okay, so let's begin. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is just a step-by-step -step process that you can use to process some information. So I like to think of it like this. Here's an algorithm and you have an input and you have an output. So if I told you, for example, to subscribe to my channel, <laughs> okay, so how would you do that? Well, you know, you're going to take your mouse, you're gonna move it down to the subscribe button, you're gonna click, click, and then you're subscribed. That's the algorithm for subscribing. And then what you do is you can parameterize that algorithm to take input to where I could have what user is going to subscribe. So you could say like, Oh, user X is going to take their mouse and drag it down, and user X is going to click subscribe, and so forth. So you can kind of think of an algorithm as just a section of code that you can reuse. There's all kinds of different algorithms, there's different ways of measuring their efficiency, and you know, I think maybe a good algorithm series would be pretty super awesome on this, on this channel. But for now, you can kind of think of an algorithm as a function. So if you didn't get that function vibe, that's okay. But a function is essentially the same thing. You just take input and you have output and you process that input and somehow get an output using some lines of code. So the machine learning algorithms are specialized algorithms designed for machine learning. It's just a category of the algorithms that are out there. And these algorithms are going to be used to model our data. So is the algorithm the same thing as the model? Is the model the same thing as the algorithm? Not really, but they're really, really closely related. And maybe it helped just to look up the difference between a machine learning algorithm and a machine learning model. But in the example that I'm going to be going through, we have what's known as the ID3 algorithm. And this is going to process our data. And the output of this algorithm is what we would call our model. So the output is going to be a decision tree. The decision tree is basically a way we can represent our data. You can also think of it as like the very complex if statement. That is one way to model our data. The ID3 algorithm is essentially going to create that very complex if statement. And the output is going to be, you know, a bunch of cases where you hit a roadblock and you branch. So if this, go this way, if this, go somewhere else. <laughs> and then you're going to repeat that process. And you can see it branches, and the program is represented as a bunch of decisions. That's all a decision tree is. So the decision tree is the actual model of our data. The ID3 algorithm, it doesn't actually do anything like predictively. It just takes our data, outputs, a decision tree. As you continue your study of machine learning, the difference between a model and an algorithm may become clearer, <laughs> but more than likely it's going to not really matter that, that much. You know, I in my YouTube videos, I'm, I try to define language, but then I usually end up saying, eh, it really doesn't matter because people use terms interchangeably. So I gave you an example of an algorithm and an example of a model, and you're probably going to end up hearing people refer to models as algorithms and algorithms as models and try not to be annoying about it like oh that's not an algorithm bro that's that's a model it honestly doesn't matter because the two go hand in hand as you use these algorithms the algorithms are the things that allow you to model your data <laughs> so yeah that's that's essentially that and yeah Okay, so in the next video, um, we are going to be talking about different classifications 
of algorithms. And this is where you get those fancy machine learning terms like supervised learning, all that stuff. So it's gonna be pretty brief, but I think it'll help just to kind of classify things and I'll be sure to um, make it awesome. So be sure to check it out and subscribe. Peace.